What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be covering something I'm getting asked really frequently over Instagram and that is what price should I set my products at? We're going to go over the things that happen when you change the pricing on your products. If you're putting them at a higher price or if you're putting them at a lower price and by doing each of those things what happens in return. So that's what we're going to be talking about today guys. So if you're new here please subscribe, we're almost at the 1000 subscriber giveaway for two months free on my mentorship program and if you gain any value from this video please drop a like so guys why does pricing your products differently have an effect on your store Apart from the extremely obvious reason that you're going to be making more money if you price your product higher, it also has a really big effect on your overall store image. As a consumer, if you're looking at a store and the price points are extremely low, you instantly trigger the idea that that store is cheap, that store is low quality, and that store isn't very popular. That's why they're having to sell at such a cheap price. Whereas as a consumer, if you click onto a store and the products are priced medium to high in cost, then you automatically think that that product is a high quality product. It's a good product and it's a product that you might want to buy. So that's the simple psychology between the two pricings. Having lower set prices on your website makes it look cheap, low quality and very quiet in terms of traffic and sales. Having it at a higher price tag makes it look premium, makes it look well wanted and makes it look like something that they should want to buy as well themselves. So guys, you can't just go in there with a basic Shopify theme and have your products priced at a really high price because it's not going to work. You need everything to be built around that pricing to make that pricing look and feel legitimate as to something that they should be paying for the product. So once again, we're gonna talk about something very important and that is branding. So branding we talk about in every single video. It's something that no dropshippers really do. Everyone's trying to smash Facebook ads, scaling up with $5 a day, wasting hundreds and hundreds of dollars before they make any sales and they're just trying to sell a single product whereas with branding you create a brand you create a strong following you create a cult following that's going to buy every single product you release you're going to get return custom you're going to get people recommending your products and you're just going to get a much better feel and a long-term success with that brand now long-term success is exactly what you want there's no point making money for a few days and then going broke because you've got no more sales. You need a long-term, reliable brand. And that's what you get when you put time and thought into making your brand stand out. So guys, it's really dependent on your niche and your product as well. You can't just sell a classic bead bracelet that you see every single person trying to sell for $60. It's just not going to work because there's so many people trying to sell that same kind of bead bracelet. You're never going to be able to get that margin because other people know they can buy it elsewhere for cheaper. So you need to pick niches and products that aren't heavily saturated. Yes, you can have other competition and other brands trying to make sales in that niche, but you want a niche that isn't too saturated so that when a consumer sees your product, it's one of the first times they've seen that product. So your price doesn't shock them. I always aim for 15 to 20 pounds profit on each product. So that's a good margin. That's a good margin in itself. And I would never really spend over 15 to 20 pound on the actual product. So I go for products on AliExpress that are less than 20 pounds. And I aim for at least 15 pounds profit on top of that. But there's nothing stopping me from upping that price 20 more pounds and going for 45, 50 pound profit on each product. It's all about branding and it's something that I focus on so heavily that I can almost charge what I want for these products and because that branding is so strong and the customer loyalty is already there, they'll buy. So that's what's so important guys. Instead of putting your time into trying to figure out Facebook ads and watching all the courses and buying all the courses and trying to figure out how to make thousands in a day on Facebook, you need to put some time into actually creating a brand and really putting time into creating a business. Therefore, you're going to have a long-term success and you're only ever going to make more and more money as your business grows. So guys, to wrap that up, if you're wanting to come across as a premium brand, if you're wanting to sell products at a decent price, focus on your website, focus on your brand image. You'll be able to put those margins up and make that money that you want to be making, but you just need to make that brand feel legitimate. You need to make the brand look like you should be selling products at that price and that the customer is getting a good deal still. And on the other hand, guys, if you're wanting quick, easy sales and you're not too bothered about how your store comes across, then go down to the lower profit margins. Go for quick, easy sales, but you're gonna to need to make a lot more sales with that method to make the same amount of money you would from selling the products the premium brand will be selling. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep the profit margins in mind. There's no point putting all that time into making your first sale and then realizing you've only made five quid because the profit margins are not set correctly. 
So set your profit margins up, make sure you're on for a winner before you even start to try and sell, and make sure you're gonna be making yourself good money when you do make those sales. And once again, guys, traction is key. So as soon as that traction builds, it's only gonna get easier and easier. So that's it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to quickly put that out there. I've got a lot of people asking me the question on Instagram about the pricings of their products, if they're overpricing or underpricing. So hopefully this video cleared that up for them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up real soon. So that's for two months free on my mentorship program with the blueprint, the strategy to how I make six figures every year without spending one pound on ads. So if you want to get involved with that, have weekly calls, daily guidance with me, just press subscribe, get a couple friends to subscribe so the giveaway comes even faster. Right, guys, so if you, if you gained any value from this video, please drop a like, drop a comment to support the channel. It would be really helpful for me. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.